Hello, my name is Yvonne Durant and this video is on infection control. The goal is for each student to apply and remove each personal protective equipment with 100% accuracy within two attempts. Don't worry, you will have plenty of time to practice in the lab, so just relax. After watching this video, the student will be able to identify some of the most commonly used personal protective equipment as well as return demonstrate how to apply and remove each personal protective equipment. Keep in mind that each student must perform proper hand hygiene before and after a procedure as well as before applying and removing each personal protective equipment. Let's watch a video on proper hand hygiene. Keep your clothing away from the sink and do not touch inside or outside hands. of the sink. The first thing we're going to hygiene. do is pull up our sleeves. We're going to remove all jewelry. The next thing we're going to do is turn on the water. In order to do that, I'm going to grab some paper towels and I'm going to first turn on cold water, then I'm going to turn on the warm water. I am also going to test the water just to make sure that the water is nice and warm. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the water over my wrist all the way down to my fingers, wrist to fingers, and once my hand has been wet, I'm going to now apply soap. I'm going to get enough soap so I can have a good lather. And now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start from my wrist and I'm going to lather going down. Start from my wrist and I'm going to lather going down. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that there is friction for at least 20 seconds. How do you know? Just look up at the clock and kind of gauge how much 20 seconds will be or just count 20 seconds. Now keep in mind that you have to have constant friction for at least 20 seconds. Then you can go underneath the nails by doing this. Keep those hands down, fingers pointing down towards the sink. Now we're complete with our friction and washing under our nails we're going to now rinse. It's very important to rinse from wrist down, from wrist down, and you want to make sure you get all the soap off your hands. My next step is I am going to dry my hands with paper towel, and because we have this particular dispenser, I'm going to use my elbow in an effort not to raise my hands above my elbow and I'm going to dry from wrist down and I'm going to discard. I'm going to go ahead and get another paper towel and dry from wrist down and discard. And I want to do that until I have a pretty nice dried hand. Once my hand is dry, I'm going to take a nice clean dry paper towel and I'm going to turn off the hot water first and then I turn off the cold. I have completed washing my hands. Thank you. Before we apply the gown, make sure all clothing in the back is covered. Also, when removing the gown, make every effort to go inside of the gown to remove the gown. Roll gown away from you, always touching the clean side of the gown. Let's go ahead and watch a video how to apply the gown. After washing our hands, our next step will be putting on this personal protective equipment, which is the gown. Keep in mind the reason why we put on this gown is to prevent any kind of infectious material from getting on our clothing. So we want to make sure we wear the gown. For example, infectious material could be colostrum difficile or impetigo. 
Colostrum difficile, we say in the healthcare arena, C. diff. So it's very important to put on your gown to prevent yourself from getting in contact with this infectious material. So let's go ahead and unfold this gown. You want to make sure the gown is unfolded and that you are not shaking the gown at all. Start from the top and the first thing you want to do is put your arms through the gown. Keep in mind you do not want this gown to touch the floor. So let's go ahead and put our arms in the sleeves of the gown. It doesn't matter if you're putting in the left arm first or the right arm first. Go ahead and put our sleeves and we're going to pull this gown up. Now some gowns come with a tie at the neck or the back, the waist, and some ties come with Velcro. Just like this gown. This brown gown has Velcro and I'm going to Velcro this to my actual gown. The next step is that I want to go ahead and tie this gown. So let me go ahead and grab the ties of this gown. And I want to make sure that this gown covers my clothing because I don't want any infectious material to touch my clothing. Try not to tie the back very tight because you definitely need to get out of it. And so putting on the gown is complete. Before we apply the mask, goggles, or face shield, keep in mind that the procedure dictates which personal protective equipment will be worn. Let's watch a video on how to apply these personal protective equipment. The next personal protective equipment that we will apply is the mask. This particular mask has a shield as well as the mask attached to it. This particular shield is like a goggle that's going to prevent any kind of infectious material from spilling into your eye or splashing into the eye, the nose, or the mouth. The mask is for larger particles, for example, influenza or any kind of multi-drug resistant material. Now, in terms of tuberculosis, measles, or varicella, we will use something called an N95 mask. That particular mask is used specifically for tuberculosis and it must be worn based on the facility's requirement. So let's go ahead and put on that mask. We're going to go ahead and put it over our ear, top ear. And then we're going to go ahead and pull this mask down over our chin. We're going to also make sure the nose bridge area is firmly pressed. And we want to make sure the face is snugly, the mask is snugly over the face so that no infectious material could get in. Keep in mind, we apply gloves after downing all other personal protective equipment. Let's go ahead and watch a video how to apply the glove. The next personal protective equipment that we will apply is the glove. Keep in mind, never put these gloves in your pocket and always pull the gloves one by one from the box. Let's go ahead and do that. We want to make sure that we pull this particular glove over the cuff of the gown. So you want to make sure that the infectious material will not get on your clothing. So you want to make sure you pull it right over the gown. We're going to go ahead and pull the next glove and we're going to put it on in the same manner. Keep in mind this is a clean glove and it's not a sterile glove. But you want to make sure that this glove is applied over the cuff of your gown. Now it's time to remove all the personal protective equipment. Keep in mind you will remove the gloves first. And the last thing according to CDC, we will remove the mask. Let's go ahead and watch a video on how to remove all personal protective equipment. Okay, let's go ahead and take off the personal protective equipment. But before we do that, let's do a quick recap. We put on the gloves to prevent infectious material from getting on our hands. We put on the gown to prevent infectious material 
from getting onto our clothing. And we put on the shield, the goggles, and the mask to prevent infectious material that's floating around in the air from getting into our lungs as well as flashing to our eyes, our nose, and our mouth. So let's go ahead and take off our personal protective equipment. The first equipment we will take off is our gloves. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we're going to do is to grasp take our right hand and grasp our left hand or depending if you're left-handed or right-handed it doesn't matter but grab the middle of the glove and pull take that glove and crumble it in, into the right hand or the left hand depending if you're left-handed or right-handed then take your index finger and go underneath the glove and bring that glove inside out and discard in the garbage container. The next personal protective equipment we're going to remove is our gown. And we want to make sure that we go ahead and unfasten the top portion of the gown. In this particular scenario, we have Velcro. So we're going to remove the Velcro from the top portion of the neck. Then we're going to untie the gown. We're going to go back up at the top of the neck and we're going to go inside of the gown and we're going to pull the gown over our sleeves, down our arms, and we're going to roll this gown inside out, clean part facing you, and discard in the container. The last personal protective equipment that we will remove according to CDC is our mask, our goggles, or our face shield. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take the elastic from over the ear gently. We're going to remove it and we're going to discard it into the garbage container. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that you must review the videos before coming to class. Again, thank you. My name is Yvonne Durant. Students, Get ready to demonstrate how to apply and remove all your personal protective equipment. Also, come to class with any additional questions about the application and removal of the personal protective equipment. Welcome to class, ladies and gentlemen. Please divide into teams. The results of the games will count as extra credit. Let's get going. The first game we will play is Learn Your Personal Protective Equipment. This is for a disease, infectious disorder, or an event. Each team will have an opportunity to answer, for example, which personal protective equipment the nurse will apply to a client with rubella, or which personal protective equipment the nurse will apply to his or herself. We will continue the game until all equipment has been revealed. The team who answers the most questions correctly will earn earn extra credit. Let's start the game with team one and tuberculosis. The next game we will play is Family Feud. We are all familiar with this game. Again, we have two teams and each question is worth survey says. Let's start with team two this time. And at the end, we will have a face off between both teams to see which team earns extra credit. Keep in mind that each answer has different points and the team with the most points wins. The last game we will play is Dress your client and dress your nurse. Each team will get an opportunity to apply the right personal protective equipment based on the question or the scenario, and then we will discuss why. Ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind we're using real gowns, real masks, real goggles, gloves, and face shields. Let's get going. Wow, we have finally completed the infection control video. I hope each student was able to identify the equipment based on the infection control practices, demonstrated how to correctly apply and remove their personal protective equipment, as well as understand the purpose of each personal protective equipment. Students, now is time for you to tell us how we're doing. 
We appreciate your honest feedback and we want to improve the way we deliver quality education virtually to you. Please take the time to read the question and give us a simple yes or no response. Did these videos and class activities help you to effectively apply and remove personal protective equipment? It will only take a few minutes and the results will be anonymous and confidential. Thank you.